So welcome to Muscle Car Sales. I'm Harry Christian. Uh, I know the term barn fine has been well overused, uh, as has, uh, you know, has its original dust, but here we are today. They're still out there, folks. Can't believe it. We're here in an undisclosed location. Um, we'll let you know uh, if you uh, want to get serious about uh, having a look at maybe purchasing this vehicle, but we found a genuine XTGT that's been sitting in the shed. Dave, for how long, mate? Oh, 30... Two, four years. So 32, 34 years she's been sitting here. Uh, phenomenal. I just thought they'd all come out of the woodwork, but here it is in the flesh. Uh, Dave is the second owner of this vehicle, and uh, we'll give you a bit of a walk around. Um, I've got young Connie doing the video taping. Connie, how are you, mate? Good, Harry. Good. Yes, I'm <laughs> very excited. The car, um, as it sits, has had a repaint back in the day. It looks like, uh, you know, being a daily driver, they sort of just went through the process. They painted what looks like uh, the wrong shade of gold, but originally a GT gold car. Uh, not too much of an issue. It is that original and uh, that honest a vehicle, and we'll walk you through it, um, that actually uh, I'm quite amazed. In fact, really excited. Come and have a walk through. Well, um, Connie, why don't, you, why don't you go through there and just have a bit of a scan through the vehicle. There's the original old... Two thirty HP badges. Um, just quick scout around the car. The original badges, the GT badges, still fitted to that uh, to that rear pillar. What do we got there under there, mate? Looks like some kind of sticker. What have we got? Racing cams. <laughs> Who is that? That's a someone or other. Speed shop. Well, <laughs> just come back here. Just watch that. Well, let's have a look inside the boot of this thing, mate. Have a look at that. Wow. So original boot rubber by the looks of it. It's seen better days, of course. So I'm not gonna play around with that too much other than get a bit of a sense of what the condition's like. So we've got the wheel cover there, the original steel wheel, and all the steel wheels are still with the car and uh, the original caps are still with the car in a, um, in a container somewhere on the property, Dave tells me. <laughs> It's still in very good condition, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. Pretty clean old bus. Have a look inside the gutters here, mate. Let's have a, have a squeeze in and around here. Really nice. Underneath the boot. So that's the that's your original gold colour there. Let me have a look at that compared to have a look on the top of the guard here. So that's yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit darker than the original. All good. There you go, mate. Original uh, dust and grime. Have a look at this. All badging still in place. All the original chrome work. That's great, great old car. Let's have a look at this trim. Let's open it up and get a bit of a an idea of what the trim's like. There you go. You're still recording there, mate? Sure am. Excellent. Back seat's in good order, mate. That looks all original. Parcel shelf, that's seen a bit better days. Have a look at that. Door trims look okay, too. Yeah, it's looking all original. That doesn't seat belt. They're, uh, hood lining looks good. Look at this. Uh, okay, and inside the doors is very clean. It looks very dry to get a car. So come up a real treat. Let's have a look. No rust whatsoever in the seals. This is great. Let's have a look at these front seats, mate. They look original. They have covers on them. Let's have a look at what they're like. Okay. So there you've got the original seats. Now, obviously, they've seen better days here. A few issues there if you come down here and have a look. Yeah. So that would be need repairing. But all original material, original seats. Have a look at the original carpet sitting there with the, um, with the, the original salmon stitching. Crash pad looks in good condition, mate. That survived very, very nicely. We can over and have a look at that steering wheel, mate. We'll get it. Oh. It's a great old thing. Gauge is all still in place. Old steering wheel's got a bit of a, a bit of a chop out through here, but generally very good. Centerpiece is very good. Look at that. Uh, that boss looks in very good order. Pedals, oh, quick squeeze through there. Wow. 
Let's have a look at the engine bay before we try and give it a kick, mate. Let's see if we can get that hook. You reckon it'll start? Oh. <laughs> Dave, we'll give it a whirl. Yeah, that what a great old thing. I love this. <laughs> look at this. Just pure 32 years of grime, mate. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there's your... Oh, look at the chassis under here. Yeah, that's all intact. All, all real. Let's take this cover off. Let's have a look. Carburetor looks looks pretty together and original under here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the yeah. auto line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the 4300? Original tag. Yeah, it's all there. Wow. Nice. Have a look at that, the insulation around the The insulation, the yeah. yeah. Very nice. It's got the original tag on it. Have a look at the... Um, all your... Your clips or your clips yeah. are all original here. And so that's yeah, so there's your original gold there compared to yeah. you can see the guard. And look you've got your steel steel covers over the top of obviously yeah. that's been changed that master cylinder over time. But look at that clutch cylinder cover that's you got your, light there. Yeah, well you got your original wow. original steel cover on that as well, which is good. It's um, come and come and get a come and get a happy snap of this. Um Welsh plugs. I've had a look at the number. The, the engine is definitely matching the hopes. And have a look. Has your tag? Original. There's a Fomico uh, radiator. <laughs> yeah. 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 All good. There's the spotties. Looks like, looks like this has been done after the event. This grill, but let's see if we can get it started, mate. Do you reckon she'll go? Don't know. <laughs> Stand back and let's have a look. Okay. You all right? Oh, nearly there. <laughs> oh, wow. Here you go. Wow. Obviously, a bit of priming. For the most part, I've been sitting here for about 32 years. Look at that. Water oil, obviously, all checked and filled up with some fresh fuel in the back of the tank. So, you know, been through the process before we videotaped here, but you can see the thing just comes. Just gorgeous. Bit of water over here, huh? Here is the uh, registration plate on the door, so have a look at that. Gorgeous. Okay. I want to hear the back of it. Yeah, yeah, get in the back. Give it a bit of a squirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> Very nice. What a beautiful car. Okay. All right. So we've been around. We've had a look at this old bird. It's um. Just a lovely, lovely old find. The idea now is we're going to take some detailed photographs for the car. We're going to post them on our website. We're going to post them on our Facebook page. And if we have any interested parties that would like to talk to Dave about the car, we're happy to um, go through the process. We'll need to know who you are. We'll need to go through the process and understand uh, whether or not you want to go to the next level. That will mean a holding deposit pending inspection of the car. We can then introduce you to Dave, have you visit out onto his private property here in rural New South Wales. Uh, and go through the process. So I hope you've enjoyed that. It's uh, just so refreshing to see one like this that's been sitting around for 30 odd years found and uh, hopefully it'll go to a new home. It's the sort of thing that you could um, fully restore if you want it or you could almost just take it back to being roadworthy as is. Honestly, that's personally what I'd be doing uh, and just enjoy uh, driving a little bit of Australian motoring history. So I'm Harry from Muscle Car Sales. I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, stay in touch.